In this video, we're going to talk about setting up a store using Bridge. So Bridge is fully compatible with the WooCommerce plugin. WooCommerce is free and it allows you to quickly and easily set up a shop on your site. So here I am at the Bridge landing page. As you might know, Bridge comes with many different demos that you can import onto your site and use them as a starting point. Here in the filter at the top, I'm going to click on shop in order to filter demos by shop. Now all of our demo sites support having a shop, but these demo sites here, they were designed specifically with stores in mind. So on these demo sites, you will find pages that contain shop and product layouts. So in the following section, I'm going to import one of these demos from scratch and I'm going to show you how to set up your shop. So let's click on this organic food store demo. This is a lovely demo with a fresh citrus color scheme. So let's go ahead and import this demo. This here is the site that I will be working on today. And if we view the home page, we can see that I currently don't have a demo imported. I have only installed the bridge theme. Now, if you want to import a shop demo, before importing the demo, you should install and activate WooCommerce. Because if you run demo import prior to activating WooCommerce, your products will not import. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to navigate to plugins, add new. And here in the search at the top, I'm going to type WooCommerce. Here it is. Let's click on install now. And I'm going to click on activate. Here we have the WooCommerce setup screen. Now, if you want to create a shop from scratch, you can go ahead and follow this setup process. It's fairly straightforward. WooCommerce is asking you to fill in some information about your shop. However, if you plan on importing a shop demo, we recommend skipping this setup process and completing it later. And the reason for that is because if you complete the setup process now, WooCommerce will install some default pages on your site. And afterwards, when you import the demo, you will get those same pages and you will end up with some duplicate pages on your site. This is not a big problem. You can simply delete the duplicate pages. But we do recommend skipping the setup process and finishing the setup after importing your demo so that you do not end up with the duplicate pages. So here at the bottom, I'm going to click on not right now. And now I'm going to go ahead and import the demo. So I'm going to navigate to code import. Here in the drop down, I'm going to click on organic food store. Now, demo import is beyond the scope of this tutorial. So if you would like to learn more about importing demo content, please check out our video on how to import demos. After importing demo content, you can now go ahead and finish the WooCommerce setup process. So here we now see WooCommerce in the admin panel. And underneath WooCommerce, there are several different tabs from which you can configure various aspects of your shop, things such as shipping, payments, and more. As you're setting up your shop, you can refer to WooCommerce documentation. They have extensive documentation here on their site that explains every step of setting up your shop. We will leave this link under the video description. I'm going to click on status. Down here, we have a section called WooCommerce pages. When you're running WooCommerce on your site, there are several default WooCommerce pages that must be installed on your site in order for your shop to work properly. So those pages are the shop, cart, checkout, and my account pages. These pages are absolutely mandatory for you to have in order for your shop to work properly. Now, I previously mentioned in the video that if you import a shop demo, you will get those pages. So let's go ahead and view my pages. We can see here that these pages have imported, but WooCommerce is not recognizing them. So let's go ahead and fix that. 
Here at the top, I'm going to click on Tools. And here where it says Create Default WooCommerce Pages, I'm going to click on Create Pages. Now let's go back to System Status. Now this is looking good. We can see that the default pages have installed. And if I go back to pages, I'm going to refresh this page. We can now see these notes next to the page names that are telling us that these pages are being used as the WooCommerce default pages. Now let's view the shop page. The shop page is a special archive page that lists all of your products. Let's view this page in the back end. Looking at the page in the back end, we can see that it doesn't contain any content in it, and yet the page is still displaying the products. So as I said, this is a special page. It will automatically list all the products on your site. So there is no need to add your products manually to this page. And being this special archive page, it has several features on it. For example, here we have this sorting box where your site visitors can sort the products. Over here, it's telling us how many products are displaying. With the bridge theme, you will have 12 products per page. And if you have more products than that, then at the bottom of the page, you will see pagination. Now, as for this sidebar here, this sidebar was not added by WooCommerce. It was added by our theme. So if you would like to have a sidebar on your shop page, you will need to create a custom sidebar and add it to that page. So let's see how this can be done. I'm going to navigate to Appearance Widgets. And over here, we see a custom sidebar called Shop Sidebar. So this sidebar was imported with Demo Import. If you're building a site from scratch, then you can create your own custom sidebar in this area. Now let's look at the page in the back end. Down here under the section code sidebar, there's a field called choose widget area in sidebar and we have the shop sidebar. So that's why on our shop page, we are seeing this sidebar. Now let's take a closer look at the widgets here. In our shop sidebar, we have a product search widget, we have products, navigation menu, and a price filter widget. Yet looking at our page here, it seems that our price filter is not showing. Let's take a look at the demo site. On the demo site, we can see that the price filter is showing up. So if you're importing demo content, you should keep in mind that WooCommerce pushes out new updates quite frequently. And by the time that you install WooCommerce, you're probably running a newer version of WooCommerce than the one that was used when the demo site was created. And that's why some widgets on your shop page might not be working. In order to fix that, you will have to regenerate your product data. And this is fairly easy to do. I'm going to navigate to WooCommerce status. I'm going to click on tools. And here where it says product lookup tables, you'll just want to click on regenerate. Over here, we have a message saying that the tables are regenerating. So as long as you're seeing this message in your dashboard, you will know that the process has not yet completed. So the regeneration process has completed. Let's refresh my shop page. And sure enough, the price filter is now showing. Let's compare this page to the demo once again. So the only thing that seems to be missing is this navigation in the sidebar. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to go back to widgets. And here under the navigation menu widget, I'm going to set a menu. And let's save. Let's refresh my shop page. And we can now see the menu. There's one more thing that I would like to mention about widgets. When you're using WooCommerce widgets, you should keep in mind that some widgets, such as the price filter, they will only show up on the WooCommerce archive pages. 
So this price filter here, it will only show up on your shop page and also on archive pages like product category pages. So if you want to have a price filter, you should add it to your shop page. If you add it to some other page, it will not show up. If you browsed through our demo sites, you might have noticed that our demos contain products on various pages, not only on the shop page. For example, I'm going to open my home page here. And we can see some products here on the home page. Whenever you see products that are on pages other than the shop page, these products were added using shortcodes. So let's take a look at this page in the back end. Here in the home page, we can see a product list shortcode. I can edit this shortcode to change the display of my products and also to change which products are showing. Now, I've previously mentioned that this shop page here, this is a special page and it contains some features that are unique to this page. For example, pagination. Pagination will appear only on your shop page. It will not appear when you're adding your products to a page using shortcodes. And as for adding products using shortcodes, there are many different shortcodes that are available for this purpose. I'm going to click on this plus icon to bring up WordPress Bakery shortcodes. And in the search box, I'm going to enter products. Here we can see that WooCommerce provides numerous shortcodes that you can use on your pages to display products. The Bridge theme also has several shortcodes that allow you to create these beautiful product layouts. So we talked about adding products to your site. Now let's talk about configuring the design of your shop. There are several different places in your WordPress admin panel where you can change the look of your shop. So let's go over these places. First of all, I'm going to navigate to Code Options WooCommerce. The options here are the bridge theme options. Up here, we have a section called Product List. So the options here will apply to your default shop page. Underneath, we have a section called Product Single, and as the name suggests, these settings apply to your single product pages. And underneath that, we have several more sections where you can customize various aspects of your shop. Now let's go ahead and open up a product. On the product page, here we see settings from WooCommerce. And underneath that, we see some design options that are coming from the bridge theme. Finally, let's navigate to Appearance Customize. I'm going to click on WooCommerce and then Product Images. The settings we see here are WooCommerce settings. Here we have Main Image Width. This setting applies to the main image on your single product page. Next, we have thumbnail width. This setting applies to the images on your shop page. In most cases, you will probably want to leave these two settings as they are. And underneath that, we have thumbnail cropping. Here, you can change the proportion of your images on the shop page. By default, the images are cropped into a square. You can use a custom crop. Or you can also set your images to uncropped. So that brings this video to a wrap. We talked about installing and activating WooCommerce. We talked about the default WooCommerce pages. And we also talked about adding products to your pages and customizing the look of your shop. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section.